Hello everyone, just a quick first impressions video on the 44 Planetary Seals of King Solomon by Frater Setmak. Uh, you may remember about a year ago I made a review of the 72 angels that uh, Frater Setmak released on uh, Kickstarter first, I think it was, and then uh, on Etsy. And they're still available actually to purchase on Etsy. And I was talking about how impressed I was with the coins, how impressed I was with the cards, and how much more useful and usable they were compared to uh, some of the other uh, work that was on the market at the time. And well, about uh, I'm going to say about six months ago, Frater Setnak uh, made a new Kickstarter for these new uh, coins, these new seals of Solomon from the Greater Key of Solomon. And they are now available to purchase on Etsy. And uh, the Kickstarter has completely fulfilled now. Uh, people are receiving their orders uh, all over the world. I'm just showing you half of them here. The other half are in this beautiful box, this kind of uh, mahogany uh, colored box with this uh, 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 one of the, f the four major seals of Solomon uh, on the front there. Uh, we've got this lovely um, foam flocking material on the inside of the box. Very, very nice, uh, as you can see there. And then inside we've got these two, actually let me get it from this side because uh, this is a, a really nice idea, is it? Uh, uh, he's got these two pieces of wood here and here, leaving us space <laughs> that we can uh, just pick out the, um, uh, the, the, the leaves, right? The, uh, the shelves of, uh, of the coins. Now the, the coins are actually covered with this, this kind of sliding plastic uh, cover. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, I actually slid off the uh, the, the first one completely so you can see uh, what the coins actually look like. Let me just take one of these out here and give you a closer look. So um, this is one of the solar um, uh, seals. Um, uh, they've all got uh, the planet that they relate to on the back so that they're very easy to recognize. I've, I've tried to, to organize mine in, uh, in, well, in, um, in terms of the planet, so the, the moon at the top and then uh, going all the way uh, through the various planets down to Saturn over here. And uh, uh, what's really awesome is that Frater Setnak has also included some uh, further shelves for putting the uh, the angel coins in. There we go, from the 72 uh, angels of the Shem HaMeforash. Uh, those were actually uh, uh, an extra uh, on the Kickstarter. And well, I, I'm not 100% certain, in fact, that those are still available through the uh, Etsy store, but uh, they, they, they may very well be, maybe just directly through the 72 uh, angels page uh, or ordering page. Okay, what can I tell you about these? Well, what I, one thing that I definitely can tell you is that the, 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 the production value on this is absolutely terrific. So they're available in two colors, the kind of silvery color and this kind of goldish color, like maybe a bronzish color. Uh, they are, yeah, just, just really very, very beautifully produced. Um, I, I really like the cards. Here are the cards that come along with the set. Uh, you get uh, all, well, all the details that you could possibly wish for, actually. You get uh, the details about which pentacle it is, the actual picture of the pentacle itself. Um, by the way, pentacle does not equal pentagram, right? Uh, it's uh, uh, rather related to the word pan, as in everything, uh, rather than to the Greek word penta, uh, as in five. So, um, uh, in fact, some people call them pantacles, uh, and that's, that may have been the original word pantacle rather than pentacle. Um, so there we are. And then there's this image, uh, this allegorical image of the particular um, uh, planet that's involved. So all the Jupiter ones look identical, of course. All of the uh, Mercury ones uh, have their own image and uh, you know it goes on and on so here's a Saturn and, and so on and so forth right uh, on the back of the um, the card we get information 
about uh, what the greater key of Solomon Grimoire actually says about this particular pentacle. Uh, it also gives you details about what you're supposed to make it out of, which is kind of an interesting thing here because um, uh, my my first thought when Frater Setnak announced that he was making these these uh, these pentacles um, was that, well, aren't you supposed to make these out of either parchment, which is um, uh, I think it's lamb skin, maybe goat skin, um, uh, uh, so certainly not what we call parchment nowadays, of course. Um, uh, alternatively out of uh, a, a very specific metal depending on the pentacle that you're actually creating. So, uh, and in fact that's kind of um, uh, some of the, the theory between be behind talismans, right? So that you're creating them at a particular time of day out of a particular material and that's, that's kind of what uh, gives them their, their energy. But Frater Setnak has uh, created a just like a, an alternative way that doesn't involve you finding a quill made out of the feather of a, a swallow and using the blood of a screech owl to, <laughs> to make your pentacle, right? So uh, these are the, Sol the keys of Solomon, or rather the planetary seals of Solomon for the 21st century and for people who, uh, uh, yeah, are not so keen on animal cruelty. Uh, um, uh, yeah, just a lot of the materials that were originally required are not so easy to, um, not so, not not just not so easy to uh, to procure, but also not so desirable to procure. Right, a lot of it you just wouldn't want to get it at all. Uh, so he has made in this little pamphlet, in this little leaflet that accompanies the set, um, a, a, a process where you are consecrating these uh, these uh, these seals you consecrate the seals with with his uh, method described over here and then you can work with them in a manner that's quite similar to the way uh, that you work with the um, uh, the uh, the coins of the Shem Hamefarash, except that instead of placing them on your uh, on the region of the third eye on your forehead, you actually place these on the part of your body that uh, represents the particular chakra that is related to that particular planet. And there's all the details on how to do that inside, like where to find the chakras and so on and so forth. Um, also, what time of day to do it all. So there's a he devotes quite a few pages, uh, maybe a little surprisingly actually, uh, to how to uh, work out what time of day to do it all. And then, uh, and then he basically says, yeah, but alternatively you can just look it up online at this website, which I recommend, <laughs> to be honest. It's really nice, however, knowing you know, how how those uh, planetary hours are calculated. I've made a video about that on the in the past. It's it's quite interesting. It's quite uh, quite a nice thing to know how to do. And it's uh, it's quite nice to know that, you know, your 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 uh, uh, online planetary hours calendar to just to know what it's actually doing in the background. Right. So that's that's quite nice. Uh, what I OK, one one little um, one little uh, criticism that I'm going to make here is that he has um, uh, uh, taken a little shortcut here. He said, repeat as in the 72 angels instruction for one, two and three, uh, even to a degree uh, for four, uh, not, not, not so much. Um, so the steps of what you do once the coins are are consecrated once you're actually starting to work with the coins, um, what, what what to do, right? And then there's five all the way over here. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, and then back on six, repeat as in the 72 angels instruction, seven repeat, as, you know, etc., etc., with a little bit of a difference and, and, and so on and so forth. I think that, uh, you know, assuming that everyone who's got this will necessarily have the 72 angels. I, I'm not sure that's, I, 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 well, I, I, I don't know. I, I would have liked to have had the instructions for this set with this set, right? Uh, and, and not say, well, I've, I've talked about this before. Um, 
Um, I can end, I can certainly understand why he did it, but um, but I, I'm not sure it's um, it was quite the right thing to have done. Here is uh, something that you can uh, pause your screen on if you're if you're interested in what the working was for um, uh, for the seventy two angels. There we go. So that if you if you do have the uh, uh, or only the the forty four planetary um, seals of the King Solomon, and you don't have the seventy two angels, then uh, then you should be able to refer to that. I, I think that 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 would make sense. Okay, so that's uh, yeah, that's 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 my 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 one my one negative point. Uh, the rest I think is fantastic. I really like his method. In fact, I, I uh, you know once once you've you've pieced it together from the puzzle pieces of the two books. It, uh, it's a really nice method. I love his consecration ritual. Uh, it does nevertheless involve you going to find certain herbs, right? It's not just sit down and, and think that you've got the herbs. No, no, it, it, you know, there is a, a physical process, which I think is important. You know, you're not going to find the blood of a screech owl, but you are going to go and look for lemon peel and rose and feast, field horsetail. It gives you the Latin names there uh, so that uh, you, can, you can look them up online and so on and so forth. I think that's, that's a, a, an essential part of uh, bringing your spiritual practice into the material world, which is kind of, um, well, at least one of the main points of, uh, of ceremonial magic, of Solomonic magic. There we are. Uh, so yeah, all in all, fantastic. But let me just um, uh, take a pause here and talk about this. This is uh, what made the parcel so enormous. <laughs> Look at this. This is the meditation mat, which is sprawled out on my floor. I'm quite lucky that I've got a large, a large living room here. I've had to pull the table out of the way to, uh, to well, to, um, uh, to to be able to lay it out. I put a few, a few. Uh, rocks. There we go. A few, a few of my, my, uh, my, my collected crystals here, and you'll see that once it's been out for a little while, it just stays flat. There's, there's no, no problem at all. Um, but it's a, it's a very beautifully constructed mat. It's, um, okay. It's, it's actually on canvas, right? Printed directly onto this uh, plastified canvas, uh, so you can tell it's going to be quite durable. Um, uh, and we've got the, uh, the, the these these uh, four Solomonic seals in, uh, in in the four corners over there, and uh, four names of God in, uh, in 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 the four directions of the compass. Right, you sit in the center here, and um, yeah, there's actually instructions in the in the book on how to use these seals. You can place the coins on various parts of the seals. Um, uh, for particular meditations, for particular outcomes and things like this. Really, really nice um, uh, concept. Um, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. I think it's great. I, I love the way it's been printed. You can see that it's, uh, it, it looks absolutely great. It's comfortable to sit on and yeah, it's just, just superb. All right, let me come back over here to, uh, to the uh, to the collection, uh, just a little a little note about this. I love this. The fact that it's it's not a like it's not a latch. It's a couple of um, magnets keeping keeping the box closed. Oh, boom, like that. Uh, so very very nice, and yeah, just uh, another quick look at, uh, at how. How nice it is to have all of the angel seals laid out like this so that you can actually see which one you're picking out. Very, very cool stuff. Oh yeah, one last thing maybe is that uh, you, you may remember that uh, the 72 angels came with a tuck box that you know opens traditionally out from the top like that. Uh, the 44 planetary seals is a uh, is is um, uh, well 
this kind of different design of tuck box and I think this is great. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this form actually. Uh, I think it's uh, probably the, the, the form of tuck box that looks the best and uh, it makes everything quite easy to, um, uh, to get to, to pull out of, right? Very, very nice. There we go. That's my review, guys. Uh, well, my view, my review, my my overview, my um, uh, my my quick first impressions. Uh, I'm really looking forward to consecrating these, and yeah, going through the, um, uh, the 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 processes necessary to to make these yeah special and particular to 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 me, and uh, so that I can actually use them for magical uh, practice and uh, in the in the future magical purposes right thanks ever so much for watching everyone take care of yourselves uh, i'm leaving of course details of the etsy store down in the description as always don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't done so already if you're interested in supporting the channel even further you can uh, click on that little join button next to the subscribe button and that'll tell you details about the foolish fish memberships and the uh, the, the discord the foolish fish discord server where you can chat with me and with other members and so on and so forth. It's, it's, it's all good fun. Uh, thanks very much for watching again. Take care of yourselves. See you soon with another video. Bye-bye.